guys feel after probably the two biggest wins of the season, and what does this mean for where you guys can go? I uh, feel good, obviously. I mean, uh, Wake Forest game was, you know, we didn't play as well as we wanted to on defense, but uh, we knew there was a lot of room to improve and easy things to fix overall. Um, not, not a lot of things that you, you're worried about in that game uh, defensive-wise to uh, really fix. So it was good, and we did that, I think, this past weekend. Obviously, still always room to improve, but defensive-wise, coming off of those games, uh, you feel good. Uh, two very high-powered offenses and uh, be able to get the win, especially with the help of the offense. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling, you know, especially two ranked wins, uh, division game. Um, it's just, uh, you know, two big wins and sets us up in a good position for the division and keep working our way towards that uh, ACC championship. Any worries that you guys won't be able to keep the focus after such two big games like that? Uh, no. I mean, it's more, you know, every week we reset. It's not really about ranked opponents or anything. Obviously, those games are big and everything media-wise and all the coverage, game day. But every game is just as important because as soon as you lose one or anything, you know, you're, you're now not in control of your destiny anymore. So every week we, you know, we reset and we make sure to bring the same amount of focus and the same amount of intensity to practice every week as we do. What does it say about this team, this defense, that despite uh, the absence of Brzee and Tyler Davis for a couple games, Thomas, you're still number two in the country in run defense. Yeah, I think it shows a lot about our depth. And, uh, you know, we talked about that a lot in the preseason about how our depth is going to be really important. And uh, just being able to, you know, step up when guys are out and not, not lose a beat is uh, it's a good sign for us. It's a good sign that, you know, everyone's working hard, doing what they're supposed to do, doing their job. And uh, it's a good uh, sign for later in the season, you know, when, we, when we're going to really need our depth. We, can, we know that we can rely on each other and, and show that uh, what we've been doing is uh, – you know, we can do it consistently. What are some of the positive takeaways that you have with your own performance in this last game? Um, I, think I, I think it was, you know, I brought a good physicality to the game. We knew that they were, uh, you know, a physical team and that it was going to be a physical game, especially coming in here. And, um, you know, it was a low-scoring game last year. We knew it was going to be a, just a battle in the trenches this game. And I think that I brought a good physicality. Uh, and just was able to handle the environment well. It was loud out there on defense, so didn't want to get everyone lined up. And uh, just let us let everyone do their job. Let us play the call that uh, Wes called, and uh, you know, just do our best. I think that was a big thing. And uh, just flying around, playing, playing fun, playing free, and uh, just enjoying the opportunity that we had. I think last year we talked to the defensive players just about, um, you know, obviously the offense wants to score a lot of points, and there's a lot of pressure on the defense. I know as a defense, you probably just focus on what you're doing. Um, it helps during the game, you know, the flow of the game. But you know, our mindset is always if they don't score, you know, they can't win. So um, it always helps, especially like a game like Wake Forest when some things aren't going your way. It helps that the offense can go out there and have your back and uh, you know continue to score and put points on the board and give the defense another opportunity to go out there and help the offense. So uh, definitely helps. We're playing more complementary of each other this year, but. Uh, you know, as a defense, still focus each week on, you know, you want to shout out every week. Uh, but, you know, having the offense we have this year, it definitely helps out uh, just in case we get in some of those situations like we do in the Wake Forest game. Keith, what do you know about Boston College's offense so far? Um, you know, we're, we're starting to look at a lot of stuff right now, tape-wise and studying the, uh, the players. But, you know, they got a lot of good guys, a lot of veteran guys, especially at quarterback and uh, Zay Flowers, wide receiver, you know, those two guys have a good connection. and. Um, you know, that's the type of team where if you don't play discipline and stuff, they can hurt you. So, uh, you know, we're still locking everything in right now, game plan wise. But just know you got a veteran group and a team that can, you know, they can go deep on you, they can run on you. And just a very good offense overall. So, got to bring it this week as well. You talk about the goals always shut out. I mean, how much room do you feel like this defense still has to grow in this season? A lot. I mean, I feel like the team overall has so much to improve in still. And, uh, you know, our, our limit is, uh, you know, it's, it's the sky right now. And as soon as we start putting it all together, um, you know, there'll be a lot more blowouts and stuff. But, you know, just as defense, just little things keep cleaning up each week. And, uh, you know, we're, we've been, I think we've been improving every week. Um, and if we keep doing that, then it's going to be a, be a good end of the year. Uh, definitely a little bit different of a vibe. Just knowing that we're in control of our destiny right now, 
Last year was a little different. Um, you know, with the loss to NC State, you kind of sit there and you're figuring out who is to lose and who is to win in order to get to the um, ACC championship. So right now, it's a it's a better feeling knowing that we control it. But um, you know, we still got to go and, and compete every week and continue playing like we have because you know, like I said, every game matters right now. So every week, so um, let's continue this high energy and keep the uh, you know keep the momentum we got going. Another night game. Yeah. Do you embrace the opportunity for night games? Yeah. I mean, I, I like them. I think night game, every game is different. Night game is good. You got a lot of rest in the earlier part of the day, a lot of time to continue to prepare on Saturdays, which is always good. Um, and, you know, environments are always good. You know, it helps you get a little bit more energy up there, um, especially traveling. Um, so, you know, I'm excited. It'll be a good environment and excited to go play up there in BC. Keith, I know uh, Philadelphia is not close to Boston, but I mean, are you anticipating some family members yeah. and friends coming up? Yeah, no, I got, a, I got a couple family members going up there and some friends that go there as well, so it'll be a good little good little crowd up there supporting me, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is this, and is it feeling different for you as a as a Northeaster on a, you know, a yeah. team really with yeah. loaded with Southern? Yeah, a <laughs> uh, little bit, you know, I think I'm kind of excited to get up there. I think the weather will be, you know, what I've been used to playing in. Uh, most of my life, so I'm excited for that, and and just to go up there and play. I haven't been able to play in BC yet because because of code and everything, and um, I think it's going to be you know it's a great experience. I love playing up there. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of people I know up there, so uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited to uh, to have that opportunity. I imagine a lot of people recruited you. Did BC recruit you also? Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to go up there and visit, but it was always one of those schools that I thought of when I was younger and being somewhat close and. Um, so it'll be it'll be cool to go up there and see it. Okay. Anybody for Keith from Zoom? Hey Keith, um, this is Anna Adams with Clemson twenty four seven. I think Dabo said it was Tuesday. He wasn't um, this past Tuesday. He wasn't particularly pleased with how the defense practice really challenged you guys Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, anything you could share about kind of what you relate to you guys and the shift that you noticed in terms of how you practice? Um, just, you know, just practicing with a purpose every day and going out there, um, you know, with the correct mindset at practice. I think sometimes, you know, during the week, uh, week after week, it can get, you know, you can get caught up in it and get a little tired of the small details. But, you know, he just reemphasized how important it is and, and, you know, the fact that games are won in practice, you know, during the week, Monday through Friday, before you even play on Saturday. Um, and, you know, we just took that, took that to heart, really came out there the rest of the week with the mindset that, you know, we have to improve. We got a lot to improve on. And uh, you can tell from Wednesday to Saturday that we, we really improved, and I think it showed on the field as well. Anybody else for Keith? All right. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, guys.